Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my afterthoughts review of The Moon Rises. Ugh. It's like, how typical. Just after I say I'm not gonna do fan animations anymore, a big major one comes out. Darn. <laughs> but I decided to go watch this one anyway, and I'm gonna do an afterthoughts review like this to it. And uh, as always, it's really, really good. I mean, the animation is just stunning and spectacular. It's just, wow, it just really is. At first, I was kind of confused as to why they kind of had this big disclaimer and why they decided to um, basically change the locations of the character designs a little bit. But then I kind of realized that, you know what, this animation is so good that it'd be pretty easy for someone to mistake this for basically an official video. And of course, it's not. It's a fan animation, and so yeah. So it actually does make sense for them to have these kind of disclaimers and stuff at the beginning. But it still seems kind of odd and sort of, in some ways, disappointing that the characters don't look like the way they do in the show and stuff. But even so, this animation was pretty incredible. I mean, there's really not much to say about it than it's just simply a professional grade video. And great job to everybody involved with this video. Yo! Um, I do have to say that in some ways I didn't really like the vocal performance as much in this one. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a vocalist, but it does sort of feel and sound like this is too loud. When I first saw this, I was kind of turned off by the vocal performance, to be honest. But it, it does have kind of the problem of that, yeah, it's like, this isn't a nice, sweet number. It starts out that way, but it ends in bitter anger. It's like, I have come to take over the world! <laughs> And, you know, it's like there's no nice, sweet way to do that. So at that point, it, it sort of almost felt like she's kind of almost in a way yelling a little bit. But I, I don't know. Lullaby for Princess Animation. It was really sad and touching, but it was, but that was exactly why it was kind of good. It was sad and touching. This one, it's just like, oh, Princess Luna is scary. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I guess, but you know, still, it, it, it was kind of touching. I, I do feel for poor Princess Luna. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say it'll be okay. I mean, it will be okay eventually, but for right now, things are kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, overall, this was uh, still a pretty good piece. It's not my favorite, to be honest, because it is definitely a very much a downer video, to be honest, and all that. But still, it was still pretty good and all that. Some other thoughts, it's like, there are parts of me that are like, oh, another Nightmare Moon video. It's like, can't we just put Nightmare Moon behind us and move on? And I do secretly hope that one day that duo cartoonists will do the other part of the story, you know, almost in a way the true point of the story is that, you know what, even after everything that's happened between them, Luna and Celestia were able to forgive each other and just be sisters again. It's a beautiful thing. But still, overall, this was another great piece of animation by Jewel Cartoonist. So, yo-ho, way to go to everyone who worked on this video. You did an awesome job. Yo! So that is the end of my Afterthoughts review of The Moon Rises. This is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.